So Jeff George in his first start in a Viking uniform and his records with his previous teams, the Colts, the Falcons, and the Raiders, well under the 500 mark, but playing with unquestionably the best team he's ever played with in his NFL career. I think the most talented team and most importantly, the most talented offensive line. Setting the rest of the Minnesota Viking offense, Todd Stucey, Randall McDaniel, Jeff Christie, David Dixon, and Corey Stringer. That has been a solid offensive line. Leroy Horde, the running back, with Smith out. Moss, Carter, and Reed, three great receivers. Andrew Glover, the tight end. And uh, the 49ers, secondary, have to defend against those three. And they're in there now at second and three. And off is to Leroy Hoard and getting good yardage up the middle and still going into 49er territory to the 41 yard line. Long count on second and one. And the pass by George. Unbelievable. And Randy Moss who makes the catch inside the 10 yard line. He was covered well by Craig Newsom, but that won't get it done alone against Moss. Watch the ball throw. There's the feet in bounds, and there's the shoe on the ground, right on the bottom. That is a cover two pattern. George getting some pressure, and down he goes, and it's Bryant Young. Fourth and goal. Leroy Hoard, the running back, John Henry Mills. And look who's at fullback. Blocking guard. Randall McDaniel blocking, and Hoard walks in for the touchdown. You see who he followed, Dick? Randall McDaniel. Nothing like having a 290-pound fullback. First of all, you look at that hideous stance he has. So that probably distracts the defense. And then you just follow him. Look at it. Just runs him right over. Garcia, who led the Niners to a win over Tennessee and then has dropped the next two games at the helm. Again. First down and 15. Not the best way to start for an offense. Garcia stepping up. And Garcia dives. Gets about two of those yards oh, back. Oh, 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 hey, we got some shotskis going on out there. Coming back. Now, here's Rogers. Oh, I see. Rogers takes a little shot. He's going to let him know where he is. Jerry's going to let him know where he is. And then... <laughs> Everyone lets Jerry Rice know where he is. Here comes the troops. And that's Orlando Thomas that's down the bottom. Defense. Niners set back to their own 29. And here is Garner. No chance. And John Randall... Came in, third down and ten. Garcia getting decent protection, taking off, and he'll have the first down as he gets tripped up and winds up in Minnesota territory. Interesting. Wade Ritchie on the field for a 22-yard field goal attempt. It's good. For Darnell and Walker, who was benched last week against Carolina. So it's a first down for the Vikings. On the 32-yard line, Leroy Horde bursting inside, and it's picked off, and it's run back by Lance Schultz or Darnell Walker. It's Darnell Walker with his second defensive touchdown in as many weeks. That's Randall Cunningham, uh, who led the Vikings to a 15-1 mark last year, relieved after halftime against Detroit last week. First down at the 20-yard line for the Vikings, who trail 10-7. Jeff George with a long drop and the pass right on the money to Matthew Hatchett, and he's going to score. No flags down. An 80-yard touchdown pass for a score to Matthew Hatchett. That didn't take long, did it? NFL Fox doubleheader next Sunday. Second down and two. Lawrence Phillips into the game in the backfield for the first time, but the slant to Jerry Rice. 49ers trying to get back in, second and 15, trailing by four. Garcia gets away from Tony Williams, and the pass is intercepted. Orlando Thomas that picks was. it off, and only the second interception all year by the Vikings. Yes. Here's Leroy Horde off left tackle, finds the opening, and a great audible called that time by Jeff George. This one be a 47-yard attempt with the punter Mitch Berger holding. And Gary Anderson's kick is no good. It is short and off to the right. Lawrence Phillips is the setback. First down for the 
49ers, Garcia getting pressure and a screen pass to Phillips, and Lawrence Phillips breaks it. Lawrence Phillips being chased by Hitchcock, and he finally brings him down at about the 15-yard line. So Jerry Rice at the top of your screen, and a play action for Garcia, and a pass, and it was right in the hands of Robert Griffin. Attempt. And Wade Ritchie connects on the field goal. A thousand concussions, if that's what a concussion is. Because you get smacked around all the time. Second and one. Here is Horde. First down. Leroy Horde. George stepping up. Drills it. And the pass caught by Carter. Chris Carter down the sideline. Inside the 20 and knocked out of bounds. Did you oh. love those guys? In essence, he's a linebacker playing safety. Second down and 10. George's pass, tip and intercepted. Schulters on the tip. And Lance Schulters runs it out to the nine-yard line, and it was tipped by Tim McDonald, who just came back to the game. Bingo. Third and seven. Out of the shotgun, and the pass up the middle is caught. Driving for the first down is Chris Carter, and he's got it. First and goal at the seven-yard line. 110 to go. Vikings looking for some margin here with a one-point lead here's the pass to nice. Andrew Jordan and a touchdown the tight end signed last week after two tight ends Jim Klein saucer and Carl Lester Crumpler went down with injury Jordan is back with the Vikes and he grabs the TD pass oh, he's starting to kick in three wide receivers Garcia has one of them, and that is Mark Harris, the third receiver. be a 26-yarder, his longest attempt of the afternoon, and the kick is perfect, 24-3 in their game today. First down and 10, and the slingshot toss to Jake Reed by Jeff George, and Reed will carry it out to the 40-yard line. To get to, and that's what the uh, Minnesota Vikings are trying to take advantage of. Third down and seven. We George got this has plenty of time, and Chris Carter makes the catch, and a first down to the 42-yard line. From the 39 of the 49ers, third down and seven, the pass caught by Hatchet, and Matthew Hatchet. Big Reed shoved that helmet to the side. Now Robert Tate has come in for the first time at wide receiver, and on a reverse is Randy Moss, using Moss, and he steps out of bounds for the Vikings. On the nine-yard line. There's no help out there now. It's just McWhorters. Mo Williams, the call. Straight ahead, touchdown, and no one touched him. Ten at the 20-yard line. 49ers. Down by 15 points. Look Garcia out. being charged. It's batted away. Free ball. It's still anyone's ball. And the 49ers recover inside the five-yard line. Joe Zelenka, another rookie. Snaps it. And it's shanked. Or blocked. Or Maybe blocked. Tipped. Viking might have gotten a hand on it, and it's to the 21-yard line. And you may be right, Matt, as Chris <laughs> Walsh, Walsh, former Stanford uh, player. <laughs> Look at him. Wrestling. I'm surprised he's not biting his leg on the way like one of those little chihuahuas. Meanwhile, and third down and goal at the two-yard line for the Vikings, who have five wide receivers lined up and an empty backfield from the two-yard line. Jeff George looking left, looking right, throwing, and it is a touchdown, and it's Chris Carter just over the goal line for the score. Another laser shot. Jeff is wide. Why didn't he tie that one down? That doesn't make any sense. Chad Stanley with the kick to flag down in the end zone, and here is David Palmer returning. He gets into 49er territory, pending the flag. Holding. Offense, number 86 in the end zone. Chad Fan. The, the result of the foul is a safety. At the 32-yard line. Stenstrom goes down, and that is the second sack of the game for the Vikings. Dwayne Clevin and Dante Culpepper, who is uh, the first pick by the Minnesota Vikings in the first round. He might be the largest quarterback yes, in captivity. Changing the quarterbacks. If it pays dividends, so much the better for Denny Green. Third down and eight. Dante Culpepper. 
running and getting the first down as he steps out of bounds at the 48-yard line. The game will end, and the Minnesota Vikings defeat the San Francisco 49ers 40-16 to here at the Metrodome, and the 49ers have now lost their third game in a row for the first time since 1980.